I'm outside Landmark Center where police have gathered in case of potential riots after the Patriots have just won the Super Bowl 28-24 over the Seattle Seahawks for Tom Brady's fourth Super Bowl victory. Yeah, but these guys are here behind you. That's uh, that's a, a, a public order platoon, and they're here in case there's any disturbances or whatever. And they just they'll go to wherever they are and set up and make sure everybody has a great time celebrating. While it wasn't the riots that fans experienced two years ago when the Red Sox won the World Series, people were out on the streets of Boston showing their Patriot pride. Are those little tears in your eyes right now? I was sad tonight. I cried a little bit <laughs> during that game because it was so intense. And I almost, I broke down almost. It was so intense for me. I just had to do it. Gronkowski is the boy! Tom Brady deserves this Super Bowl more than anybody. I did cry a little bit. <laughs> I, I'm going to admit that I did cry a little bit. It's I had okay. to. It, tell me about the feelings you were having in those last 10 seconds. Um, I thought that I was going to go to jail tonight because I thought I was going to have to kill somebody because I didn't know what to do with my anxiety. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were like tap banging our knuckles on my desk for the last seven minutes, knocking on wood for us to win. Almost leaving, but it's all worth it. Oh, Tears, anxiety, and jubilation, there is sure to be even more of that on Tuesday at 11 a.m. when the Patriots take the duck boats through the streets of Boston to celebrate their Super Bowl victory. With the BU News Service, I'm Alex Hirsch.